Hey everybody, it's Nate from Explorers.life. I teach people how to build DIY campers, and in this video, I'm going to show you why using the Victron Links distributor is less expensive than using traditional bus bars. Now, this video is number 26 in a series of videos where I teach you all the basic electrical skills and concepts that you'll need to tackle the next electrical project in your camper. Now, we are currently finishing up a little mini series talking about the Lynx distribution system. And since I put the Lynx distributor in all of my diagrams at explorers.life slash solar wiring diagrams, I have been getting a ton of questions and comments regarding the price of the Victron Lynx distributor and how it's just too expensive. People are saying, well, it's just a bus bar. Why is it so expensive? Well, that's not really a fair comparison because the Lynx distributor is not just a bus bar. It's two bus bars and four fuse holders. So when comparing the Lynx distributor to a more typical bus bar setup, we need to be able to compare apples to apples, which is two bus bars and four fuse holders. Here's the Victron Lynx distributor priced at $206.55 as of today. And there are also four mega fuses inside at $5 each, which brings us to a total of $226.55 all in. Now let's look at a more traditional bus bar setup. Using high quality Blue C bus bars, fuse holders, and fuses for pricing, here's what we've got. Two Blue C 600 amp bus bars, one positive and one negative, priced at $70 each. Now the 600 amp bus bars is 400 less than the max rating of the Victron Lynx distributor as that is rated to 1000 amps, but 600 is plenty to handle most loads, even dual multi plus 3K inverter chargers at 12 volts if needed. We need four Blue C A and L fuse holders at $22.53 each, and four Blue C A and L fuses at $18.97 each, as well as eight lugs to connect the bus bars to the fuse holders. Now, lugs are anywhere from about $1.25 for six gauge to uh, $2.40 for four hot. So let's just split the difference with that and call each of these $1.80. And I'm not going to figure in the cost of the wire or the heat shrink to connect the fuse holders to the bus bars as that would only be an inch or two of wire and you'd just be using the end of the wire that you'd be using to connect the component to the fuse holder. So I don't think it's fair to include that price in the cost comparison. So when all that's totaled up, it gives us a total price of $320.44, which is nearly $100 more expensive than the Lynx distributor. Now, I know that there are cheaper bus bars and fuse holder options out there. That would bring this price down quite a bit. But over the last year and a half or so, I've just seen so many of these cheap fuses and bus bars melt that I can no longer recommend these no-name bus bars, fuses, and fuse holders. And I have actually completely removed them from all of Explorers.life and added disclaimers that I no longer recommend them. I tried to save you some money back in the day, but high quality bus bars and fuse holders like the Victron Lynx distributor or Blue Sea components falls under the phrase, do it right, do it once. Now, even if price and quality were the same between the standard bus bar system and the Victron Lynx distributor, here's another thing. Every single connection point in the system is a potential point for failure and a point of increased resistance. You could have a bad crimp, or you could have a nut and a bolt rattle loose and cause a loose lug to terminal connection. Again, every crimp and every bolt is a point of potential failure, and these connection points should be minimized as much as possible. So in every circuit coming off of the Victron Lynx distributor, there are five connections, positive bus bar to fuse, fuse to wire lug, wire lug to wire, negative bus bar to wire lug, and wire lug to wire. And if using a more traditional bus bar and fuse holder, you've got eight connections per circuit, positive bus bar to wire lug, wire lug to wire, wire to wire lug, wire lug to fuse, fuse to wire lug, wire lug to wire, negative bus bar to wire lug, and wire lug to wire. So the Lynx distributor will give you 62% fewer points of failure over a more traditional bus bar setup. Fewer connections and lower resistance will also give you lower DC ripple in your system, which I'm not going to talk about what DC ripple really is, but a lower DC ripple means that your components will operate more efficiently and will have a longer lifespan, specifically your inverter. So yeah, $226 is indeed expensive for just a bus bar. But when it's two 1000 amp bus bars and four high quality fuse holders wrapped up into one nice neat container, it's a little more reasonable when comparing apples to apples. And remember, if you're really trying to pinch pennies, perhaps consider going with the Lynx Power In and adding your own hardware so that it can hold fuses. This will save you about 60 bucks over buying the Lynx distributor if you're okay with a little bit of a modification to the Lynx Power In. Now that pretty much wraps up this mini series on the Victron Lynx distribution system. But in the next video, I'm going to cover the differences between a shunt, 
a Victron BMV712, a Smart Shunt, and the Lynx Shunt. So stay tuned. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, it'd be awesome if you would share it with somebody or a group who you think could use it. Hit the like button and leave any questions you've got or new things you learned in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want to see more DIY camper building tutorials, and I'll see you in the next video.